Hey, Asa here and Shimmy. We're standing on the deck of the master bedroom at Four River Trail. We just wanted to point out that River Trail is an enclave of longtime locals and a few second homeowners. It's a very inclusive community. There's a real sense of place here. Uh, the neighbors get together as often as possible for barbecues and it's just a, a very sweet spot. Only about 20 minutes to the town of Telluride and about 15 minutes up the road is Woods Lake. And a lot of these locals that live here have been here since the 1970s. Uh, I'd say the average tenure of property in this area for ownership is uh, probably close to 20 years and this place is no exception. So uh, between the town of Telluride and Placerville, there's only about 40 homes that are on the river. And while this one has a road that uh, goes between the house and the river, this one is a river property for all intents and purposes because the land goes to the San Miguel River. So this is a pretty cool place and it's an awesome yard to play horseshoes or just hang out. So uh, this is a an, an awesome log cabin down valley uh, that can be either be rented out or lived in by a family. All right, here we are. And off to your right, we have a front porch that is set off of the kitchen in the living room, as well as a two car garage with a attic loft storage a local's dream to be able to have all this storage come on in let's check it out again access to the two-car garage and then here's the front door and we're going to have asa take it away come on in here we are walking into the front door we have a tile flooring surface straight to the laundry coat room and then walking into the kitchen hardwood floor slab counter nice island great flow in the kitchen and that opens up into this vaulted living room which is a peaceful place to hang out next to the cozy wood burning fireplace the property the home excuse me is about 2400 square feet on a little over an acre and the uh, in-floor heat system is a really nice touch and then right off of the main level here is the master suite. So single level living for the master level. So here we are in the kitchen. It's got a four burner grill as well as stainless appliances, which the owner purchased and upgraded a few years ago. The home was built in 2006 by Frontier Log Homes. And they are still around and uh, are notable builders in the area, especially for beautiful log cabins. Let's check out the uh, master bedroom. So here we are about to enter the master bedroom, but I wanna point out the half bath for your guests and, and visitors. And here we are into the master bedroom, nice tall ceilings. There's also a wonderful deck out here. You can leave the screen door open in the summer and listen to the sound of the river. And there is a fabulous master bath with a dual vanity sink and uh, tile flooring and we're back we've got the two bedrooms that are upstairs here it's a very family friendly space and look at these massive trusses and the vaulted ceiling that's overlooking the living room first bedroom is over in here it looks out to the east again it has nice vaulted ceilings two closets and off uh, to the right is part of the mechanical room uh, just at the top of the landing of the stairs. Now we're going into the second bedroom and by the way the heat from the wood-burning fireplace where you can see it goes up and out to the roof. According to the current long-term renter who has a month-to-month -month lease as of now um, says that it kicks out some really nice heat and it keeps this place toasty warm in the winter. Let's check out this really cool bedroom and also there's a full bathroom here with a tub shower combo commode, uh, vanity sinks, and then this western bedroom with its own private balcony overlooking the San Miguel River. Check this out. What a woodsy, cool place for River Trail is. And I can tell you this, that a lot of the property owners completely 
take advantage of the fact that you can go just around the corner here up the Fall Creek Road. You can hike it, you can walk it, you can bike it, and it takes you all the way to Woods Lake, which is about seven or eight miles. Another spectacular uh, forested paradise that is just a, a, an idyllic spot for camping, bonfires, picnicking, horseback riding, paddle boarding, you name it, a gorgeous mountain alpine lake just around the corner. And to get to all of this stuff, you can check out the garage and Asa will tell you a little bit more about it. This is a dream for mountain living lifestyle. Look at this two plus car garage, ample storage in the back. And then you can see the ladder that goes up to some uh, overhead ceiling height storage. So the current owner added this garage after he purchased the property. And to me, this is what people are after. So here we are on the mighty San Miguel where Asa has been known to ride his rubber ducky down the river. <laughs> I certainly have rafted it and I might have fallen into it just getting my toes wet. But this is one of the last, if not the only, undammed river in the west uh, going from the headwaters of Telluride area all the way down ultimately to the Colorado. And also just around the corner over my shoulder is Fall Creek that merges into the mighty San Miguel. This is a gold metal stream uh, that is active with fly fishermen and recreationalists uh, alike, rafters, kayakers. Fishermen? Fishermen. I think we said fishermen. Okay. You can fish here. <laughs> you can fish twice if you want. Yeah. Uh, we're also standing on a site that would be an ideal gazebo fire pit. We're standing on property that it does belong to uh, Four River Trail, and uh, this would just be a great hangout, nice place to uh, get together with friends and family and sip a cold one and swap fish stories. Yeah, and we are going to stop talking, and why don't you go enjoy the sounds of the river?